Hi y'all, it's Beth here and today we are trying out actually a brand new um, filming location. So I hope that the lighting in this location is a little bit better than, you know, how the lighting is when my blinds are like when the sun is beaming through the blinds and you can like see it and it affects the lighting. I hope this way is much better. So this is what I melted this week. This is my what I melted for the week of July 11th through July 16th, which is today, Friday. It's a little bit less than a full week, but I wanted to actually start making my what I melted this week videos on Friday instead of um, Saturday because you know, then you guys have like the whole weekend to watch it and like I'm not worried about having to film it over the weekend. Um, so yeah, okay. I do have a few empties this week, so we can start by talking about those. It's not as many as I would have liked, of course, but when is it ever, right? So I have three empties this week. My first one is Rose Girls Strawberry Soda and Blue Raspberry Slushy. And this one was so good and strong, but my family does not really like artificial strawberry scents. And also something happened while I was melting this scent that is no fault of the vendor, but pretty much um, my mom well, hard boil eggs sometimes and if you ever have hard boiled eggs have boiled hard boiled eggs before they like stink up the whole house to smell like eggs and I don't really like eggs and I don't like the smell of eggs and eggs mixed with strawberry and blue raspberry slushy it just left a bad like smell in the air in my opinion so now I feel like this scent is forever ruined for me. But anyways, that's strawberry soda and blue raspberry slushy. Okay, next up, I also finished up a wax melt clamshell from Zape in Drop of Sunshine. And the notes for this one are lemon curd and vanilla wafer cookies. And this one smells so good in the clamshell. So I melted one cube in my bedroom a while back ago, like right after I purchased it back in February, and I couldn't smell it, so I let this one sit for quite a while, like ever since February, and now it's all the way at the end of July, so that hopefully like the scent would get a little bit stronger, and it's not that this scent is undetectable, like I can definitely smell it when I'm looking for it. And like when I first walk into the room, but in terms of like how well it does as like a house filler and an open concept, I feel like it kind of gets lost a little bit. And um, there are like other lemon bakery scents that I probably would purchase over this one. Um, but I'm still glad that I gave this one a try. And if you have the time to let it sit for a while, then definitely go for it. Like, I've had it sitting since February, and it's still not, like, a strong enough scent for me, for my preferences. The other empty that I have is a sample in Coffee Bean Sea Salt Caramel from L3. I used up this whole sample, and then I also melted um, a one fluted tart. I chopped it in half. This lasted in my warmer for about a day and a half, and um, from L3 in Coffee Bean Sea Salt Caramel, it was really, really good, and I'm looking forward to finishing the other half later this month. And then that's it for the empties, so now we'll just get into stuff that I melted, um, just like, you know, that I didn't finish. So I have Teddy B's Frankish Princess, and this one is patisserie and blackberry butter pecan cookies. The notes are warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and a touch of spice blended with butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, and butter cookies. So this one is amazing. I love it. I have three chunk bags in it. 
so I'm good to go with Frankish Princess for like a whole year but um yeah that scent is just super amazing I loved it I definitely would repurchase it it is a favorite in my house like I get compliments on it from my sister, from my mom, so I think that one will like forever be a repurchase for me from Teddy Bees. And then um, in the bedroom, uh, I think I have three bedroom scents. So two are from L3. This first one is To All a Good Night. The notes are Sweet Lavender, Sugar Cookie Dough, Adipose, and Buttermint. I really, really enjoyed this one um, in my bedroom. I think I am going to save the rest until like November, December time. Um, but yeah, this one was really, really nice to all a good night. Then the other L3 one that I have is Lavender Chamomile Pound Cake. So I melted this one a while ago. I didn't get a good throw from it. Um, now I melted it again and I actually did get a decent throw. It's like one of those ones where like when you first walk into the room, you can smell it really, really strong. Um, but then like your nose becomes nose blind to it very, very quickly. Um, but it is like a very comforting, relaxing scent from L3 Waxy Wonders, Lavender Chamomile Pound Cake, but I don't think I would repurchase it. I'm just looking forward to using up the remainder of these shapes and calling it done. And then I have Zape's Naughty Housewife and the notes for this one are exotic fruits, citrus, ozone, and fresh laundry. And this one is very nice. I melted one cube of it in my bedroom. I have two cubes left, so this one won't be around for very much longer, but this is a very nice scent and this is a very nice scent and one that I definitely would um, repurchase when it's done every once in a while. Like, I wouldn't go crazy and purchase a whole bunch, but like maybe once a season or so would be nice. Um, and then my very last one that I have is one that I melted in the bathroom. This is Yankee Candle Meadow Showers, and I actually have it going right now. I'll turn on my warmer. I have just like a mini warmer um, in the bathroom, and I'll turn on my warmer maybe like 20 minutes or so before I take a shower, and um, yeah, it just makes the whole bathroom smell nice. Um, I have it going in there right now still too because like after I drink my coffee, I'm going to brush my teeth, so... I will be able to smell it in there real fast before I go to work too. So yeah, that is everything that I melted for the week. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I will be filming my new melting basket soon um, because that one I will start tomorrow, Saturday. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.